Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy and I am Jonathan. Today uh, we're going to just give a brief uh, overview of what we'll be talking about uh, and uh, learning uh, as we do this uh, chess uh, program that we'll be creating. Um, the, basically I just want to give a bit of an overview on the agenda as well as explaining uh, a little bit of uh, my background into this uh, chess project. And of course, I, I do have a passion for it as well, um, partially because of the challenge that it uh, provides me, um, and partially because I, I do enjoy chess, although I, I wouldn't uh, consider myself a strong player or uh, a very experienced player. I, I do enjoy the uh, a strategy game um, that uh, um, doesn't uh, depend on chance. Um, it's uh, really uh, up to me uh, to win and I, uh, more times than not, than not I find that uh, I make a mistake but uh, or many mistakes I should say but anyway um, what we're going to be doing just a, as a brief agenda we'll first be starting with uh, some some videos on how to create a user interface uh, that would be the graphics part uh, if you remember in the Sudoku tutorial before this one we uh, created a program but uh, you had to change the code if you wanted the the Sudoku grid to be changed, and we would like a nice uh, drag and drop uh, graphical grid um, board representation um, where um, pawns and rooks and queens are visually look like uh, pawns and rooks and queens and kings and so on, and uh, and there would be black pieces and white pieces and and uh, that whole uh, sort of thing, and so. Um, We'll begin with that. So we'll start with just creating a, um, a, a graphic, creating this window that, that displays a grid, and then we'll move on from that and, and uh, create icons in there. And then um, we will add uh, a simple mouse feature, just a, a click and drag, so that uh, the program knows when you click a button, when you lift a button, and um, mouse button, and, and so on. And uh, we won't go too complicated in there. Um, this will not be a tutorial that will get you uh, um, super comfortable with uh, especially advanced graphics, but it will give you a basis for how graphics uh, works and, uh, and how you could build upon what we will be talking about. And it will give you enough for, for a basic thing like chess or something, but not for a fancy three-dimensional. Uh, we will not be discussing 3D or um, uh, some advanced uh, collision uh, detection. Um, I won't be discussing several things like that. Um, but yes, we will go through some basics. And then I plan to uh, begin on a discussion of uh, how a chess engine how different ways that you could uh, program a chess engine, and those will be uh, planted throughout. As I teach uh, different uh, parts of chess program, we'll start uh, by uh, creating a representation in the program of a board, and then we'll move on to uh, finding out what is a, which moves are valid or which moves aren't valid, um, and we'll and we'll just slowly build. We'll go really incrementally slow, and uh, so that uh, everyone can follow and really go from the ground up, from a blank slate, all the way up. Um, to a program uh, that uh, can play a reasonable game of chess. I do not profess that this game will beat you. Um, it does not beat me. Uh, the engine as it currently is, it might be revised. Uh, hopefully it will be. Um, but it um, is an engine that can think for itself, that has a, a good rationale for what it does. It might not think uh, super far in advance. Currently, I run uh, about four ply deep um, and I'll explain all that later, but four ply deep takes me about uh, usually uh, three, four seconds to process currently. And uh, I don't consider that very fast, but it's definitely better than uh, previous versions of uh, chess engines that I've created. And it just keeps getting faster. I keep improving on it, but there's always that you improve on it and then uh, that's usually, uh, you improve on the strength of the engine and uh, at the cost of uh, time and resources, and then you improve on the speed at the cost of strength. 
And so there's that constant battle. And so I could easily make my engine faster, but it would be at the expense of, uh, of um, just uh, accuracy and stuff. And so uh, there's really a, a tight line that you have to try to jiggle between the two. And so far I'm at four ply. I would like to go to six or seven ply. I think that would uh, greatly increase my strength, but I have to uh, obviously knock back on some other things or come up with something smarter. Anyways, so this won't be a perfect engine that we are creating, but it will be a chess engine that goes through the basic things. Um, and another thing is, like I said, I briefly mentioned before, we'll be putting in segments of uh, videos in between where I will just be discussing, here's different methods that people use, here's why I'm using this method. We, I won't just say, okay, this is how you program it and this is the function it does. I'll have a, um, a bit of an overview and perhaps some links for a further research if you're interested on exactly uh, why am I doing this. Like for instance, I use a, a rays, a two-dimensional rays to represent a board, a chess board instead of um, what most professional chess engines use, which is a bit board. And I'll explain why. And in that case, it basically is, it's uh, easier to understand. And so I think that's better for this tutorial. Um, and so on. And so we'll go through a, a bunch of discussions on uh, just why am I doing this. And, and just to give you a bit of background so that when we are finished this tutorial, you can turn around and create your own unique one and you don't have to uh, um, just have a, uh, my uh, program that I've written, ha but that you can think, okay, this is how he did it. This is why he did it. And I think he had a slight flaw here or there could have been something better. So let me change that. And so I do hope that you will improve and build and expand on this. And uh, I, I really look forward to this ongoing uh, um, uh, project. And so this is something I'm really excited about. Um, and I look forward to see where this takes us. Uh, until next time, enjoy Java.